Swamp life. Swamps are filled with many insects, birds, and animals. How do animals in swamps survive? Welcome, swamp visitors, Ranger Rachel said as she gathered a group of students from Mr. Litton's second grade class around her. Are you ready to listen? Yes, everyone shouted. Ranger Rachel put a finger to her lips. Shh, she said. Let's listen. Danny listened. At first, he heard nothing. No honking cars, no people talking, no loud vehicles or faraway booming music. I don't hear anything, he said. Ranger Rachel smiled. Now, let's listen again, she said. Danny listened again. Soon, he was hearing sounds, all kinds of sounds. The more he listened, the more sounds he heard. Buzzing, humming, swishing, clicking, croaking, chirping sounds. After a while, Ranger Rachel took her finger from her lips. Can anyone guess what you heard? She asked. I heard a bird singing, Kim said. I may have heard a frog croak, Danny said, but I'm not sure. I heard an insect buzzing, Pedro said. Dragonflies buzz, Ranger Rachel told him. Do you think it was a dragonfly? I'm not sure, Pedro said. Ranger Rachel pointed toward the water. Look, there's a dragonfly zooming up from the water. Careful, dragonfly. It must sense danger. Dragonflies buzz when they rub their wings together. Is that what you heard? Just then, the dragonfly zoomed past Pedro. Yes, Pedro cried. I heard the dragonfly buzz. Spring is here. Ranger Rachel said. The swamp is waking up after a long, cold winter. Snakes, fish, lizards, turtles, and beavers are coming out of their winter hiding places. Blackbirds, swamp sparrows, and other birds are stopping by as they fly north. The birds are visitors, just like we are. They will find plenty of food to eat and water to drink in the swamp. Ranger Rachel pointed to a pile of twigs and logs and grass and mud in the middle of the swamp. Can anyone guess what that is? She asked. Did a beaver build it? Tico asked. Right, that's a beaver's home. It's called a lodge. Swamps are perfect for beavers. There are trees and branches to chomp with their sharp teeth and use to build their homes. There's water to drink and swim in and plants and tree bark to eat. I didn't hear any busy beavers building and chomping, Danny said. Beavers come out at night, Ranger Rachel explained. They are nocturnal animals, like owls and raccoons and some frogs. They are all asleep now because it is daytime. I'm wondering, Danny said. Yes, Danny, Ranger Rachel said. Well. People need to eat, so I guess animals in the swamp do too. So I'm wondering where they get their food. Creatures that live in or near the swamp have plenty to eat and lots of water to drink. That's one reason they live here. Can anyone guess what they eat? Birds eat berries and seeds, Millie said. That's right, Ranger Rachel said. Some birds also eat worms, insects, and other bugs. What do dragonflies eat? Pedro asked. Ranger Rachel smiled. Dragonflies eat insects and mosquitoes. There are lots of those here. There's plenty of food and water here for everyone. There are plants for the tadpoles. There are seeds, berries, and worms for the birds. Frogs use their long, sticky tongues to capture insects for dinner. The animals all depend on each other to survive in the swamp. Let's listen to the sounds and guess the animals that make them. Chirp, chirp, tweet. I hear a bird, said Tico. 
Rustle, rustle. That must be a squirrel moving in the bushes, said Danny. Buzz. That's a mosquito, said Millie as she swatted around her head. Everyone laughed. Then the class closed their eyes. They listened to all the humming, buzzing, chirping, singing, swishing, hissing sounds like a lovely swamp chorus singing together.